from previous presidents. Uh, what appears to be a hate crime at a synagogue in, in California over the weekend where a man went into a synagogue and killed one person, injured others. Why is this happening? What do you see as the root cause here and why can't we stop it? This is domestic terrorism. Let's call it for what it is. It, had there been someone from the Middle East involved in this, someone with a green card involved in this, can you imagine the alerts that would have come out from the White House about the threats of terrorism to the United States? And yet this president does just the opposite. With a wink and a nod, he says to these national uh, nationalists and supremacists, you know, I know they're just trying to protect the statues. He, of did, he, e. did, condemn, he did condemn the shooting in Poway very strongly at this rally Saturday night. Yeah, of course he did, and he should have. But the point I'm getting to is why do these people feel they have license now to attack synagogues, to attack sick temples, to attack churches across the United States? This has really been fomented because of the rhetoric that we're hearing from the White House. You think the president is giving them license? I think the president and his rhetoric is very loose. And as a consequence, people feel a permission slip to move forward in areas they never have before.